I am excited for Liberty and Lynx in the WNBA Finals because it's going to be pure hoops and no drama. You know, like these are are really, really good basketball teams. It, they've been the best teams all season long. They played in the Commissioner's Cup. Uh, obviously, the, the Liberty had the best record. The, the Lynx have been impressive all season long. And I really love it from a matchup standpoint. And just from like a the, – I, I think so many people are going to tune in and maybe they won't be engaged beforehand because there will be less of the lead up and less of the BS. But I think the people that tune in are going to have a rewarding experience watching the actual games because it's going to be so high level with likable players who can really bowl. And, you know, the a lot of people celebrated the Aces losing, and I get that. And, and I'm sure a lot of Fever fans celebrated the Sun losing. I get that. Um, but with these two teams, it's going to be about – pretty much the product on the court and not the discourse, I would imagine. And there, there's some, you know, great hoopers in here. Nafisa Collier, let me first shout her out because she probably doesn't get enough love. You know, there, there's been talk about not enough shine being put on certain players. I think Collier is actually the one who is on the, the short end of that stick. Look at these numbers here over the course of the playoffs. It's pretty incredible what she's been able to do. And, you know, when... There's other players who are mentioned in that. Like, you know, it came up with Asia Wilson a bunch. And I thought Asia Wilson got tons of love. I think Nafisa Collier is actually not talked about that much. And then the, the Lynx have a, 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 you know, a really good squad overall up and down. Courtney Williams is one of my favorite players to watch in the entire league. I love her bounce and energy and enthusiasm. And she might have the deadliest mid-range game in the league. I, she almost never misses it, it seems, when she pulls up. From, from mid-range. She had 24 points in the decisive game against the, the Sun. Collier had 27. McBride had 19. And here was Williams after the game talking about her superstar teammate in the FISA. Players in B is so different. It's, it's crazy. Like, the way she is so coachable from anybody, it does not matter. Like, she just wants to be great. And she show up every day and her humility and the way she talked to people, the way she carries herself, is actually insane. Because a lot of super, like, this girl is a bona fide superstar. And they don't act like that. Like, a lot of superstars does not act like that. And the way she shows up and she cares, it's different. And I think when your leader and your superstar moves like that, it's easy to trickle down. And I think the way Cheryl holds us all accountable from our superstar all the way down to our rookie. Like, she coaches us all the same way. She don't make no exceptions for nobody. And I think when you have a superstar that's so coachable, it's easy for all of us to be like, she listening? What, what makes you think you're not going to listen? You know what I'm saying? So I love it here. Thank y'all. So, you know, that's a, a nice moment. And, and Nafisa Collier had also talked about how, aside from – you know, being a great team, she doesn't want her time with her team to end. That's part of the motivation for continuing to play because they genuinely love each other. And you can see, you know, Cheryl Reeve has done a great job. I, I get it. There was the controversy around the Olympic team, but I, I don't think you confront on her ability as a coach. And that's just a likable Lynx team. Play great defense, can shoot the ball. Collier ha is making a case as the best player in the league. I mean, she's been under the radar all season long in that regard. And she's been the best player in the postseason, I think, by far. Uh, Courtney Williams, again, I think it ha could have a star turn here in the in the finals because there probably aren't a lot of people who are as familiar with her. And, you know, she just is has that personality. She's got the accent, which, you know, is interesting to, to listen to. And she's got the game and the, the pull-up money mid-range. I had people comparing her to Sean Livingston a former NBA player in my mentions. And that was a deep pull, but he he had that mid-range game as well. And then there's the Liberty side and how they match up specifically. And the Liberty are the same way, right? Like a really likable basketball team um, that, that plays the game the right way. And you go from Williams and Collier to Sabrina and Stewart. Now I know they won't be specifically matched up all the time, though they'll definitely see time on one another. And from a, a pure matchup standpoint, that is incredibly intriguing. You know, Sabrina Ionescu has had an awesome postseason outside of one game so far. And I think she has elevated herself 
to that upper echelon and upper tier of players in the league. She really doesn't have a hole in her game. Uh, she gets Barclay Center going with those deep shots. And, and Brianna Stewart is arguably the best player of her generation alongside uh, Asia Wilson. But the, the difference here is, and, and I think I would pick the Lynx going in. If you had told me before the postseason started, I would have probably picked the Lynx. And the, the Lynx won the Commissioner's Cup. I think they won three out of four against the Liberty this season. The difference for me now is Leonie Fiebich. Because Fiebich gives the Liberty really, she's playing like another star. It's not even like she's helping them out. She's playing like another star on the floor. 24-year-old rookie, right? 24-year-old rookie, but has so much experience. She played internationally. Um, she played for the, the national team in, in Germany. And she came into the WNBA as a polished product, but didn't play. I mean, she played off the bench. She played plenty, but didn't play like a, a central integral role for the Liberty until the playoffs started. And then Sandy Brundella makes the bull move of inserting her into the starting lineup, which you think about it, the Liberty had the best record in the, the league. And then the coach makes a starting lineup change going into the playoffs. You don't see that very often, but it really paid off. And Courtney Vandersloot, who moved into the backup role, is still producing and still giving them something. But Fiebich makes them a problem matchup because she's so big. You know, she's 6'4". Um, she can shoot the hell out the rock. She's probably the best shooter on the team and maybe the best shooter in the league from three, you know, having seen more and more of her. She's a tough matchup in transition. She really knows how to, to get going downhill. And she just understands how to play. And she can, you know, be deployed in a variety of different ways, defensively and offensively. So when you add her to Stewart, to Sabrina, to John Quell Jones, who's a whole different style of player, you know, the way she can screen, the way she can shoot, the way she can post up, I think that will ultimately prove the difference for the Liberty. So I think you're going to see a back and forth series. I think um, it's going to be purely about the game. I mean, you'll get some feistiness just, you know, talking on the court and, you know, maybe some snippiness after the fact based on, you know, competitive juices and the like. But I, I believe the, the pure focus of it will be pure hoops. And my prediction um, will be Liberty in five. Let's say it goes the distance because I, I, I respect Minnesota and I respect what they bring to the floor and I respect what Nafisa Collier has done. And, you know, I'm becoming more and more of a fan of, of Courtney Williams. And, and that's not the only players they got on that team. You know, McBride ha has been excellent all season. They, they've got a real roster top to bottom. They're well coached. But I'll, I'll say that Feebich will be the difference for the Liberty.